Mortal Kombat 3 for the Sega from 1995. So I played the Super Nintendo version previously. But I tried the Sega version of the game. There's no knowledge that it's not power. Midway presents. We'll watch the intro first. Mortal Kombat 3. So the Sega version is much better than the Super Nintendo version for many reasons. You've been chosen to represent Earth in Mortal Kombat, to be warned. Out of your souls are protected against Shad Ka Shao Kahn's evil. Your lives are not. I cannot interfere any longer as your Earth is now ruled by the Otherworld Gods. Okay. So... Sonya. This is the story. It has the same story as the other game. So the game exists on both the Sega Genesis and on the Super Nintendo Super NES. But on the Super Nintendo they have removed all the fatalities, so they can't do fatality moves in the Super Nintendo version. There is blood, but no fatality moves. Well in the Sega version they have fatality moves, where they can kill each other and you have defeated an opponent. You have a few seconds where you can press certain buttons to, to execute your opponent. And that feature was removed from the Super Nintendo version, as far as I understand it making the Sega version more brutal. Also, the, the buttons are much better in this game. I tried the same character as Sonya Blade, and uh, on very easy difficulty, and uh, unlike in the Super Nintendo version, it wasn't impossible to win. Of course, I could win in the Super Nintendo version, but it was very difficult. I struggled to win on very easy. In, in this version, for the Sega, same game for the Sega, the, the controls are much better. It's easy to pull off all the moves. Actually, the controls feel similar to the later games. Mortal Kombat 9, 10, and 11 felt about the same. And uh, yeah, way easier. If you're used to the later games, it's way easier to play the Sega version of the game. And as I said, the uh, fatalities are in this version, not in the Super Nintendo version. So this is the better version, so I recommend this game on the Sega, I do not recommend it on the, on the Super Nintendo, even though the graphics are probably the same, both systems, the, the, controller, the controls are way worse on the Super Nintendo release. He wasn't in the intro for the Super Nintendo. He's he's in the intro for the Sega version. I see. Maybe there are different characters shown each time you start the game. I don't know. Kung Lao versus Jax. I believe the intro was exactly the same in the Super Nintendo, except this fight. Kung 
go, they didn't show up when I played intro on the other console. I don't know if different characters show up when you start the game, or if it's a difference between the two versions, I don't know. Ah, Li Kang will fight now. He wasn't either in, in the intro of the Super Nintendo version. So this intro is a little bit different. <coughs> he will fight Striker, the cop. So Li Kang, he was the main character of the movie and of the first Mortal Kombat game. He fought Shao Kahn. I believe. No, not Shao Kahn. He fought the mage, I don't know. It might be Shao Kahn, I'm not sure. Striker, okay. Let's start the game. Options. Play on easy here to easiest. Then we'll exit. Start the game. Model combat 3. So we have these characters. Okay, we'll select Sonya Blade. I don't know if we had the timer on when selecting characters. On the Super Nintendo version you didn't have a lot of time to select characters. But if you waited too long, it would automatically select the one where you had the, the, the selector placed. Okay, so we are fighting the arcade as Sonya Blade. We'll fight Night Wolf in the first battle. And uh, the, the buttons are much easier to use here. Even though I didn't do a good job there. I can easily block here. I will need to <laughs> try again because I didn't really do much. Yeah, I believe the, the battles are easier in this game. I believe the opponents are weaker on easier difficulty and also that the buttons are easier to pull off. Now I did a very poor job at uh, doing the moves here, but I believe I tried it before starting to record a few hours ago and uh, it was very easy. He's to do that grabbing move. Have to throw him. Okay. Move on easily. But I'm a little bit stressed out when uh, trying out attack. I think it's easy to do the shooting attack too in, in, on the Sega. It's like all the buttons react much better on the Sega version of the game. And on the Super Nintendo I felt like there was like a slowing effect and selecting moves. It felt slow and uh, it's like every time you did a move the opponent avoided the move and then did his own move and hit you. So every time you try to hit the opponent on the Super Nintendo release, he avoided it and then uh, did his own move and you lost. Uh, well, on the Sega, I believe that uh, I feel that the buttons are much better at uh, reacting to you when you press the buttons. It's like the time it takes for the character to react when you press a button is much better and it's easier to do moves like this move for example but I am no, no expert this version of the game still seems to lack a training mode unfortunately I have no choice but to train in a battle instead of uh, in a training mode I would have liked the training mode in the game to try out the, 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 the buttons because I suck currently 
That's because I don't really know the buttons. Yeah, it's difficult because um, AI knows the, 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 the moves. Well, as the player, I'm a total newbie. Easy to, it's very easy to jump backwards and forwards in this game. For a Sega, it was harder on the Super Nintendo. We'll need to try again. I don't like that I need to try out the buttons in a battle. It's better when you have a training mode where you can just uh, attack in the air without losing. Okay, you do nothing on triangle, I think. Hit on square, kick on circle, lock on X. Yeah, didn't go well. Also attack on L1 and R1. Oh, nice. Yeah, this game is much more fun on the Sega because of the much easier moves. They are much easier to pull off and the uh, uh, better reaction and pressing button. And a weaker enemy. I believe the enemy is weaker. But of course, it's possible to fuck up anyway. Start again. There is a big difference, but because I'm a total newbie, I still suck. On the Super Nintendo, it was difficult to even do that. Move. The shooting move or to do any other good move. Fucker. Cable. Screw up. Ah, he has two uh, weapons. Try again. It's very easy to fuck up. I think the health bar is too short. It, it's uh, too easy to. I don't know why it started up like this with the intro. Anyway, it's easy to lose, but uh, the moves are much easier to pull off in this Sega version of the game. So at least it's fun. <coughs> it wasn't fun when you couldn't really pull off the moves on the Super Nintendo. And the AI is not as good, which is good. When you play on easiest difficulty, you don't want them to be too strong. But I think the health bar is a bit uh, uh, short. I believe uh, it's too easy to reduce the health. I believe. Would have preferred if they had more health. Battles. Move on. Fucker. Hate them, they always seem to hit me. Out of sheer luck, when, when they move around, any move it does, and it still hits like that. But I miss. Again, 
so yeah, it's still not easy. But uh, the fact you can pull off moves much easier here makes uh, the Sega version better. But uh, it's still not an easy fighting game. You can still lose. Even on easy. That's because I suck. Finally, against Night Wolf. Now we fight Cable again. And annoying. Would be good if I could remember how to do the good moves. That one is pretty easy to do. Use the spam it in Mortal Kombat 9. Legs there. Uh, we won against Cable, but we need to win another round. Other game is not recommended as Super Nintendo version of the game is because the moves were very very difficult to pull off. Here they are easy to pull off in comparison. And I feel that the AI opponent was better on very easy than they are on easiest difficulty here. So if you don't want them to be OP and if you want an easier time with the moves and move sets then uh, yeah, the Sega version is the superior version, plus this version has fatalities too, but I don't know how to do them. Sonya Fuck. Wins. AI Sonya won. Round two, fight. Fuck you! <sighs> Fuck you. The AI has some advantages. They have some advantages in remembering moves. Oh 
she threw me when I tried to grab her. Fuck you. in the game, that's annoying. I try to pause because I have an annoying situation with the head the headset. Finally! So yeah, the games might look the same on both systems, but uh, this system has a much better better version of the game. I mean the the controllers the controls for the characters make a big difference. Have a good game over. Okay. Thank you for watching. I don't think we will play anymore. Uh, so the Sega version has the fatalities, the Super Nintendo version doesn't have the fatalities, which makes a big difference I think. And then the controls for the characters are so much easier to pull off here. The moves are much easier to pull off, which makes the Sega version actually a good game. Where you can uh, play the game and easily lay on the buttons and then you can have a fun time. The Super Nintendo version you can have a fine, fun time against a, a friend that is as bad as you. If you're a newbie or a beginner. But if you play against uh, the AI, they are far too strong and uh, also I felt like when you did the moves the AI could uh, almost always they could uh, avoid your attacks and then it was like uh, you had the uh, slow motion and uh, not the slow motion but you pressed the button and, and it was like the character was slow to react and uh, whenever she did something the AI always managed to avoid it or almost always in this game uh, the reaction of the character is much better when you press a button and as such um, it feels like the AI doesn't have a, uh, an easy time avoiding your attacks and uh, also I feel like the AI is weaker here but the fact that we can do all the good attacks more easy in this version is the, the main difference I mean you can have the same game but if you have shit controls then it's not a good game or a fun game to play. On the Sega, I believe that the controls are good enough for the game to be fun. And on the Super Nintendo, I felt like they were really bad. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.